a lot of your work involves computer-aided research. Can you explain exactly what that means for you as an historian? There are two quite different methods or tools I've been using. First of all, I've been working with social network analysis, in which we study the interactions or connections between Asian people. It's a bit similar to thinking of, of Facebook and your Facebook friends. You have a connection to all of your friends, and then if you would visualize those connections as in which when people have a connection, there would be a line between them, and then you would end up having a very complicated network of, of people being connected to each other. In this Facebook example, the connection would be a, a friendship tie or something similar. In ancient records, we, we often uh, are interested in different kinds of interactions. So there might be a, a kinship tie between persons. They might be friends. They might be doing business together. One might be an official, let's say, and another one might be uh, his underling, and, and so on and so forth. And, and when we have big data sets, let's say thousands of people, so then the network starts to be so complicated that you really cannot study it anymore using paper and pen. But there are many computational methods to study these networks that allow us to see what kind of structure you have in the network. Are there some central people who really keep the network together? Some people who connect to different parts of the network. And in this way, we can try to learn more about the social roles the people were playing in that net. So this study of networks is one thing uh, I've been doing. Another one uh, relates to computational in and uh, to the uh, meaning of different words. Um, in ancient records, the problem is that we, we cannot go and ask people, what does this word mean? So the only way to understand the meaning of words is to study the context in, in which they occur. And that's the way how research has been done for, for decades and centuries. People have been reading text, and when they encounter a strange word, they try to understand its meaning by looking at the context, the other words that surround the word you don't know. Um, nowadays, we can also use computational methods for that purpose um, by assembling a big core of thousands or tens of thousands of texts. And then we can statistically try to determine the, the meaning of certain words just by looking at the words that surround them in the text. And in, in that way, we can try to say something about the semantics, about the meaning of a new word in the context.